Okay, you guys, um, this is the last one. Thank God for you. This is the fucking last episode of, uh, um, Until Death Do Us Part. It's 4.13 a.m. Alex's point of view. Um, I've been awake for a while now. Hell, I don't think I even went to sleep. But then again, what same man could fall asleep easily after their wife was just attacked? Fuck, I should have been there. Um, I should have been able to protect my wife, damn it. Because of me, Valentina got hurt. Um, my eyes laid on Valentina's badly bruised cheek and swollen split lip. She probably can't model until her wounds heal. Um, rage engulfs my body as I remember walking in and seeing that fucker on top of my wife. <laughs> I should have been there. And now the Russians have the say. God damn it. Um, my father is going to kill me. Diego is okay though. That's good news, I guess. I have so much shit on my mind. So many things to worry about. The safe, Valentina. Diego getting shot, Valentina. The Russians closing in. Valentina, Valentina, Valentina. <laughs> Fuck, why can't I get Valentina out of my mind? Probably because I've been watching her sleep for about five hours now. Jesus Christ, I'm creepy. Mm, I will look great. Um, but I can't stop staring at her for some reason. God, she's beautiful. I reluctantly walked away from the bed, or from our bed, and started preparing what I have in store for Valentina today. She's probably going to hate me by the end of the day, but that's that was okay. As long as um, my girl was safe. Uh, Valentina's point of view. 5.53 a.m. Something cold and wet is dripping on my face. Or maybe I'm dreaming. I'm probably dreaming. Why would there be something wet dripping on my face? <laughs> I snuggle my head into the pillow more, trying to fall back asleep. Oh, the pillow smells just like Alex. Mm, it smells so good. <laughs> um, this is just what I need to fall back asleep. Ah, what the fuck? I frantically scramble up to a sitting position trying to figure out what the hell just happened. I'm shivering. Why the hell am I shivering? Why is it so wet? Actually, wet doesn't really describe the physical state at the moment. <laughs> I'm drenched. I was completely drenched in freezing cold water. Good morning, sweetheart. Did you sleep well? Callahan, yes, baby. <laughs> Why the hell am I drenched in freezing cold water? First of all, I don't understand how people do that crap. Like, why would you pour water somebody on somebody in the bed, bitch? Like, the bed is still going to be wet later on, girl. <sighs> I'll pour a bucket of ice water over you. Why? I wanted to wake you up. Have you ever heard of shaking someone's shoulder? Um, yeah, I think I heard of that. Why do you ask? You're deliberately being ignorant, Alex. Why couldn't you have shook my shoulder? Ice water is more effective. Plus, it's way more fun. Fuck you, Alex. <laughs> I would love to fuck you, Valentina. <laughs> Shut up and let me go back to sleep. No. Uh, no can too. <laughs> no can do. <laughs> it's time to wake up. Why? You wanted me to teach you how to fight, remember? Yeah, but not in six in the fucking morning. I need to, my beauty sleep. I have to go to the be the studio today. You can't go to the studio, Valentina. What? Why not? You're brute. Oh, right. Get changed. This is something you can move around and meet me downstairs. Fine. What should I wear? Mm-hmm. Thick on the blue. Dick in the blue. Blue. Oh, this will do. I better go downstairs and meet Alex. Hey, have you guys seen Alex? Hello? About how long have you been sitting there? 
for like five minutes you two were so busy making a love eyes at my wait you were too busy making love at my, at my sister valentina what what the fuck happened to your face that's a rude thing to say to a girl don't you think shut up you know what i mean your face looks awful, Valentina. Wow, thanks, sis. That makes me feel so much better. Seriously, Valentina, what happened to you? Some Russians broke in and stole the safe last night. One of them attacked me. Shit, Val, I'm so sorry. This is my fault. I should have been there to protect you. It's fine. You were too busy making love eyes tonight. Okay, I get it. By the way, have you seen Alex? He's downstairs in the gym. Why? Alex is going to teach me how to kick ass. What now, Val? Nope. No? Nope. I don't want to hear it. Um, I don't want what happened yesterday to ever happen again. Plus, I want to know how to kick your ass whenever you get on my nerves. I'll let you kick my ass whenever you want me to. You know that. I don't want to see you hurt again. Why does everyone only care about Valentina? I need to get out of here. Girl, you so jelly belly, bitch. That's very kind of you, Fidel, but I'm not falling for that bullshit. You just don't want don't want your ass roughly kicked. Or oh, thoroughly kicked. Um, was it that obvious? Yep. Well, I'm going downstairs to the basement now. Good luck. You really need it. Where did wrestling go? Yes, baby. Damn, his chest. Are you ready, baby? Val. Valentina. Yes. I asked if you were ready. Uh, I didn't hear you. Sorry. Were you too busy admiring my chest? Nope. You're lying. Hmm. We can start. Wait, can we just start? Of course. Let's start with a 30 minute run on the treadmill. Come on, baby. 30 minutes later. You okay there, baby? Um, that was the worst 30 minutes of my life. I feel like I just ran the marathon. Well, that was only a warm-up, Valentina. Okay, so what the fuck are you... I'm out this bitch. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm out, bitch. <laughs> Whoa, baby, we're not done yet. I am. You asked me to do this for you, remember? Yes. So we're not giving up easy, okay, Monka? Then, what are you going to tell me? Uh, oh, when are you going to tell me what Monka means? Mm, probably never. Come on. Uh, let's go on. Let's go work on the punching bags. You stop pinching me, Chuck. And why don't you just ask some one of them other Irish motherfuckers up in there? Fuck. Okay, I want you to punch the punching bag as hard as you can. Can you do that? I get the punchy bag a week with that punch. Baby, I know you can punch better than that. That's the best I can do. You can do way better than that, Valentina. Imagine the face of the person you hit the most in the punching bag. The only person that comes to mind, one person that I want to shoot in the fucking face, <laughs> one person that I want dead, Jay Parker. Very good, and I keep on going. Um... I start to think about how much pain he caused my sister. How he kept on hurting over her over and over again until she became cold, heartless person she is today. How he's the reason my big sister hates me. He wrote everything. I hate him. Flashbacks of Jay starts to find my eyes feeling with rage. <clears throat> Glad we got out the house today. Mm. If I had to spend one more second watching Raphael make out with his new girlfriend, I'll go crazy. At least the other one was nicer than the last one. Ugh, don't remind me of Kelsey. She was such a bitch. She always pulled my hair. She just pushed me down to the floor. I saw that. That's why. 
That's why you what? Nothing. Gross. We don't keep secrets from each other. Fine. I'll tell you, but promise you can't tell Raphael, okay? He'll kill me. I promise. Okay. Do you remember why Kelsey and Raphael broke up? Someone switched her cinnamon swirl spray uh, sand bottle with a really ugly dark orange. Raphael said she looked like a... <laughs> like a, a, a demented carrot <laughs> which made Kelsey go batshit crazy <laughs> hell no nah. then Kelsey accused her fella switching his, uh, her spray tan bottles which of course pissed Raphael off and then they got into a huge argument. man it was really fun to watch them fight yeah well that was me you're the one that switched her tan her spray tan bottle Shh, keep your voice down oh my god I can't breathe. Clearly, bitch. Last one. That's the bad, the bad fucking hair. <sighs> she was picking on my baby sister. Had to teach that bitch a lesson. Oh, God, I love you, Rosa. No box. Um, I love you too, Val. <laughs> There's a guy over there staring at me. Well, he's really hot. Yeah, he's alright. Not my type. Oh, yeah, the one's your type. <laughs> Dark hair, bright eyes, and a bad boy personality. Like Alexander Kelly. Hell no. Sure, Alex is hot, but I've heard terrifying things about him. Plus, he slept with way too many girls. Um, I feel sorry for whoever has to marry him. Bitch, you. Well, this guy's definitely my type. Something's up about that guy, Rosa. Well, what do you... Th why do you say that? I don't know. He just gives off a bad vibe. We don't even know him yet, so don't judge him. For all you know, he could be the sweetest guy in the world. Too optimistic, Rosalind. Um, I'll take that as a compliment. He's staring at it. He's staring again. What do I do? I've never interacted with a boy before. Well, you should thank my man Papa for that. You're 18. You never gone on a date. We're not allowed to date guys, Valentina. It's the rules. Why does Rafael get to date, but we can't? He's a boy, Valentina. He gets more privileges. Hmm. That's just the way it is, sweetheart. What now? He's motioning for me to come over. What do I say? What do I do? How do I act? Do I look okay? You look beautiful as always. Thank you. Uh, I think I'm going to go over to him now. Be careful, Rosalind. Um, I'll be watching him from here to make sure he doesn't try anything. I'm sure I'm supposed to be protecting you, not the other way around. And why are you sitting up here trying to burp, little boy? So let's just protect each other, Rosa. Just because I'm younger doesn't mean I can't defend you. Very true. Wish me luck. Something's not right about that guy. I'm probably being too paranoid. Uh. Whoa, Valentina, slow down. What? What? <laughs> you beating the shit out of that punching bag. Oh, wasn't that the purpose, honey? Is everything alright, baby? Yeah, uh, yes, everything is uh, fine. Uh, Give me a uh, uh, I guess I got uh, caught up in the moment. Uh, Are you sure? Give me kisses, bye bye. Yep. Uh, uh, Ain't no no. Give me kisses. That gives me a disbelieving look for a few seconds. Can I work on the punching bag some more? Yeah, yeah, sure. Mm. I practice mm. punching the bag, kicking the bag. Mm. Uh, wait, I punch is, I practice punching and kicking the punching bag. For what seems like hours, my legs, my arms are starting to crap up. Uh, but I make myself continue. When I finally finish practicing on the punching bag, Alex starts to teach me actual fighting moves. 
I'm good, good on the punching bags, Val. Just make sure to ground your, keep your feet um, grounded when you're punching. Keep your balance. Now let's move on to some more advanced stuff. You want to try and punch me in the face. What? I said I want you to try and punch me in the face. I, I can't do that. Sure you can. Just practice punching technique on the punching bag. Now I want you to use what you learned on me. But I, I don't want to hurt you. Trust me, sweetheart. You won't hurt me. Okay. <laughs> she tried to put punch Alex, but he deflected her blow. Grabbed her wrist. Okay, I'm twisting her body against his. His grip's pretty hard, but not hard enough to hurt me. I pull. I try to pull away, but that seems to be doing more harm than help. Pulling away isn't going to get you out of this, Valentina. If someone restrains your wrist like this, you want what you're gonna want to do is try and rotate your wrist <laughs> so that your thumb lines up with their with with your attacker's thumb to meet their finger. When then you're gonna jerk sharply by bending your elbow, your arm, elbow, or something. I don't know. Do you understand? Yeah, sure. Let's go. I'll try it. <sighs> I jerk sharply by bending my arm at the elbow. How in the fuck? What other? How, how in the fuck else could you bend your fucking arm? And surprisingly, I released from Alex to help. It works. Good job, baby. Now let's try again. Alex and I run through self defense moves until I master it. Then he shows me some basic techniques on punching and kicking. By the time we finish, I'm exhausted. Just like I am for reading this shit. You did really good today, Valentina. Thank you. Tomorrow will be busy. Yada, yada, yada. So I won't be able to train you. What type of business? I, I need to discuss with my father what we're going to do about the attack on the Russians. You're going to attack the Russians? They attack you, Valentina. They attack my wife. The minute they decide to break into my home and lay their filthy hands on my wife, they declare war. War? Don't you think it's a bit extreme? No, it's not my girl. They hurt you, baby. Not only that, they disrespected the Callahan family by breaking into our home. I'll make sure they pay. Okay. I don't even know if you guys can hear me because my ass is like not even speaking loud as shit. But I can't at the moment. Um, does that mean I can get a day off for training? Hell no. Nah. I'll get someone to help you train. For now. Excuse me. We can get ready and go out for some breakfast. I need a shower. I really need a shower. We can go. We can always uh, take a shower together. Now this lifetime, Callahan. Keep telling yourself that, my girl. In the meantime, in between time, what's Fidel so affectionate towards Valentina? Does he like her? He probably does. Why does everyone like Valentina more than me? You really need to stop doing that. You almost gave me a heart attack. You sound just like your sister. Is everything okay, Rosa? Like, yes. Did you get another text from Jay? No. What's making you upset? I'm fine. Okay, just leave me alone. I can tell you're lying, Rosa. Uh, tell me what's wrong. I said nothing. Just let it go. What's that box under your foot? What box? The words are in Russian. Let me see. It's okay. It mean it says whatever in hell, but it means premium green contacts in Russia. You know Russian? Yeah, I do. It seems like someone was been trying to conceal their identity. We should go and tell out. Don't worry about it. I'll tell Alex. Like, you say something. What should I have wear today? Sure. Yeah, I'm not going through fucking outfits. I don't even like this fucking shit. <sighs> the quicker the better. 
Um, he asked what if you want to uh, Dale, do you want anything else? Don't judge me, Callahan. I'm growing. I'm a growing girl. I need to eat. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Folks, <laughs> I'm a growing girl. I need to eat. Where the hell are you? You're supposed to be in the studio today. I'm sorry, that's I can't come in. I'm not feeling. I'm feeling sick. Sick or not, you need to be in the studio. Be here in twenty minutes or less. Oh, this is bad. What are people going to say about my bruises? Yes, finally. I immediately started shoving huge bites of pancake into my mouth without chewing. Valentina, don't eat so fast. I didn't order pancakes out. Let me live my life in, uh, the way I want to. You're gonna get a stomach ache. That's the risk I'm willing to take. It doesn't take long before I completely finish my food. That was fast. I was hungry. Um, <laughs> are you gonna eat anything? Don't worry about me. I'm fine. Hey, Alex, is it okay if we pop out of studio? I don't think that's a good idea, Val. I agree with you, but Natasha says I had to come in today. What will people think when you see? Uh, when I see your bro's cheek and split lip. I'll say I feel face first on the concrete. Do you really think people would believe that? It's worth a try. I just really don't want to get fired. I really love this job. Fine, we can go, but make sure your life's believable, okay? Or bitch, just say you got no pipe. Are you ready to go? Yep. Let's play some music. I don't know what the fuck. Uh, but you can read the whole first minute of the song. And I can read the first th uh, minute and 30 seconds of the song. Uh, yeah. Alright, you're all. Uh, what are we betting? The one that gets to choose the outfit for the loser to wear for a day. Deal. What's a man? Oh, okay, I don't know about the, uh, mm-hmm. This is a song, y'all. Just put songs in their shit to make the episode longer. Um, but this shit already long as fuck. I have many hidden talents, baby. Mm -mm, well, I won the bet. You sure did, baby. <sighs> Let's see. Can't believe I won. You realize what this means, right, Alex? You'll be a kind, loving wife and not picking up that will ruin my reputation. Good one. Please, do you take me as uh do you take me as a kind and loving type? Come on, Val. When you were my servant for the day I treated you so well. You really did. Fine, I won't make the outfit that bad. Thanks, babe. Levi. I'm so glad you're here. I'm glad to be. What? What the hell happened to your face? Why? Is this why you said you were sick? Well, I tripped and fell on the uh, face first on the concrete. I'm a bit too clumsy. Are you serious? Are you sure you fell on the concrete, or did someone else's <laughs> someone's fist fall? <laughs> did you fall into someone else's fist first? Um. What? Why would you say that? What are you trying to imply? Do you want to talk somewhere in private, Valentina? You can say anything you want to say to my wife in front of me. Fine, Valentina, did your husband punch you? What? Of course he didn't. I know you would deny it with him standing right behind you. I'll give you five seconds to get, out of, get the hell out of my face before. Before what? You hit, uh, you hit me like you hit your wife? You throwing a lot of accusations out without any proof, McAdams. No proof. Look at her goddamn face. I already told you that I fell, Levi. And I think you're full of bullshit. 
My hopes were didn't beat me up, Levi. I have no idea where you got this crazy idea from, but you need to cut it out right now. Fine, have it your way, but your story doesn't explain the handprint or the handprint uh, bruise on your wrist. A handprint bruise. I left my hand and there was a lot of handprint bruise forming on my wrist. Shit. Um, this must be from when Alex and I were training. What are, we, what are we gonna do, Alex? What if he goes to the press? He won't. He's not that stupid. What will he call it? What will he accuse? He was beating me up. What <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, you did? You did get punched in the face and you have a head put up roof on your wrist. Yeah, that's. Yeah, thanks for that. It's not my fault you bruised easily. Let's just go see what Natasha wants and hurry up and leave. Fellas, I don't have to see your face. Apparently, she fell. Levi, if you. Wait a minute, don't swing on my head. That's disrespectful. Come here, Dallas. Dallas. He's so bad, y'all. Uh, if you could shut up for five seconds, that would be great. Mm. Is this the reason why you called in sick? Yeah. You knew, no use to me with a bruise up face, Valentina. I know. Take two weeks up until your face heals. Thank you, Natasha. What about Valentina? Well, what about the issue Valentina and I were, were supposed to do together? Better have to wait, Levi. Obviously, bitch. You mad. So. I won't be lenient next time, Valentina. Yes, ma'am. Oh, I didn't get fired. Natasha would never fire someone as gorgeous as you. Um, now that I have the day off, I plan. Uh, wait, I get to plan well for you to get to work for today. I swear, Valentina, if you make me wear lingerie, that's a wonderful idea, Alex. I didn't think of that. I'm going to go for the sexiest pair of lingerie in the storage room right now. Val, Val, don't you dare. Why is the son of... Oh, why is she with that son of a bitch? He doesn't deserve her. Someone has to get rid of Alex. You're right, someone should. I thought he was a masked man for a minute, child. Who are you? A guy that also wants Alex Callahan to disappear. I don't want him dead or anything. I just want Valentina safe. Don't worry, Alex Callahan won't die. I'll just, he'll just be punished for his sins. If you help me, we can bring Alex down and save Valentina. I don't know. Don't you care about Valentina? Don't you want Alex um abuse? Wait, do you want Alex to abuse Valentina more? I know uh, for a fact that Alex abuses her not only physically but sexually if you help me valentina could be yours it, it's not like that oh right i forgot you prefer me how, how did you know that um i know a lot about you Le levi um i know that your sexual orientation i know if your sexual orientation was the least ever ruin your career i know that you used to be a dirty street rat <laughs> that sucked dick for food <laughs> <laughs> I know that you have a little girl, a mistake from a drunk, from a drunken one night stand who means the world to you. It wouldn't, uh, we wouldn't want anything to happen to Kayla, would we? Would, wouldn't we? Mm. Now let's talk, shall we? Is this the end? Yes, thank God for Jesus. Mm. I'm so glad I'm over. That's over, honey. That's a wrap, girl.